so today we will see next point in c language that is structure so what is basically structure structure is a data type basically it is a data type so which is the category of this data type it is a user defined data type that means we can create our own data type as per the user's requirement we can create the our own data type that is called as structure now in this structure how to initialize the structure means basically what is the syntax for creating structure first is syntax for creating structure so how we can create the structure write the keyword struct this is a keyword then name of the structure write name of the structure then curly bracket in this curly bracket after that write data members data members of structure separated by semicolon then complete the curly bracket of structure and then you can write variable name structure variable name and view semicolon at the end of the structure this is called as structure declaration so what is the structure declaration write keyword struct then give the name of the structure which you want then in the curly bracket list all the data members which you want in the structure and then completion of the curly bracket after that write the structure variable names separated by comma and the, at the end write semicolon this is general syntax for creating structure data members and their structure variables okay for example take one example if you want to create the structure for student so write keyword struct then name of the structure that is student then write the data members of the student so there are number of data members or fields for the student so what we require we require only roll number of the student so first data member is roll number then what is the role data type of the roll number integer then marks of the students this is second data member what is the data type suppose float next suppose name of the student and what is the data type of the name of the student that is character array or character pointer you can write both either character array or character pointer for storing the name of the student so this is called as structure declaration then either you can give name of the student variable that is s so this s is called as the structure variable this is structure variable this is one way to declare the structure variable there are another ways to declare the structure variable like struct stud right first struct student this is called as data type name like integer float double this is the data type name for structure this is whole is called as structure data type then write structure data type and give the name suppose s1 then s1 is the structure variable this is another way to declare the structure variable this is one way to declare the structure variable that is at the end of structure declaration you can write name of the structure variable this is one way then second way you can write struct student this is the data type name and write name of the structure variable s1 s2 s3 like that clear so there are these two ways we can declare structure variables s and s1 are called as structure variables and roll number marks names these are the structure data members this is called as structure data members understood the meaning roll number marks and names these are called as structure data members and s or s1 these are called as structure variables understood the meaning now for the structure variable that is s or s1 
memory get reserved where on the ram understood so how many bytes are reserved for the s type of structure variable because we know for integer two bytes are reserved for float data type we can create the float variable then float variable reserves four bytes character variable reserves one byte like that how many bytes are reserved for the structure variable it depends on the structure data members now how many data members are there three data members are there for character array 10 bytes are reserved for float 4 bytes and for integer 6 2 bytes so total 16 bytes so total 16 bytes are reserved for which type of variable structure variable s s1 how many bytes are reserved 16 bytes block is reserved on which partition it depends on the storage class if storage class is global then global partition if the storage class is local that is add to then stack partition memory get reserved understood the meaning for that s and s1 now how many bytes are required 16 bytes so for s how memory management is there so for s 16 bytes block is reserved suppose first byte base address is 100 then last byte address is 1 One byte. That means total 16 bytes block is reserved on the your RAM. And depending on the storage type, either it is allocated on the stack partition or global or static partition. Next thing. Now, how to access data members of the structure using structure variable? So for that, dot operator is used. Dot. This is called as dot operator. means for accessing structure data members using structure variable we can use dot operator understood the meaning that means when memory is reserved for s structure variable on the ram how it is actually reserved s dot roll number s dot roll number second marks s dot marks Four bytes are there. Then s dot name. S dot name. Now name is a character array. That means name of zero. S dot name of one till s dot name of nine. And this whole memory is reserved for s structure variable. Okay. This is the memory management for structure variable s. Understood the meaning and the memory management. How many bytes are reserved for the structure variables? Individual int marks and roll number marks and names. There is no memory management is done because these are not structure variables. These are structure data members and memory is reserved only for structure variables. Okay. Always remember that variable for variable only we have to reserve the memory. Means compiler get reserve the memory on the RAM. so only for s s1 that is structure variable memory get reserved on the ram understood and how many bytes it depends on the data members of the structure here 16 bytes block is reserved for the s similarly 16 bytes block is reserved for the s1 structure variable understood the meaning okay so these are three structure data members and s and s1 are called as structure variable now this is called as structure declaration and structure variable declaration s and s1 this declaration this is a declaration for what structure variable so it is called as structure variable declaration as well as this is called as structure declaration okay we can declare the structure and s means structure variable declaration understood the meaning now there are two ways to initialize the structure variable this is called as declaration now initialization means what we have to assign values to the structure variable so how to assign the values to the structure variable there are two ways one is the compile time we can assign the values or we can assign it at the run time that means we can take the values from user and assign it so first time how we can assign values to the s and s1 that is structure variable at compile time 
So at compile time, we can directly assign here. Suppose s. Okay. So we can write equal to curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket, what is the first data member? Roll number. So what is the value for first roll number? Suppose one. Second, marks. First roll numbers marks are suppose eighty point ninety percent. So write eighty point ninety. Third data member, what is character array? Character array. Initialization of the character array means string. Double quotes are used. So write suppose name of the roll number first is suppose x y z. This is the name of the roll number first. Then give curly bracket. That means whole record is stored inside the s variable and give semi colon. This is the one way. Second, how we can initialize the s1 at compile time? So for initialization, we can write s1 is equal to what? Write curly bracket. In curly bracket, suppose roll number is two. Marks are ninety point ninety, comma. Name is A B C. So write in double quotes. Curly bracket complete. Give semicolon. So this is called as S one and S two, S and S one structure variables initialization at compile time. That means we can assign the value statically, which is permanently assigned to S and S one. Understood the meaning? So this is called as structure variable initialization at Compile that. Okay. So as per this, when you write one, so one memory management is done here. One, eighty point ninety. So eighty point ninety marks is assigned here. Next is the x y z. So x y z and slash zero automatically adds by the compiler at the end of the string. That indicates end of the string slash zero or null character. Understood the meaning? So this is called as Compile time structure variable initialization. First one is just declaration. At the time of declaration, memory gate reserved by the compiler. And when you initialize the values, then that values are saved at the particular memory location. Clear? So this is all about what is structure, structure data members, structure variable, structure variable declaration, and structure variable initialization at compile time. Okay so today we will stop here